up, y'all? It's your boy Jay Cruz, aka Nas Audio Cat, here on the Audio Cat channel today, man. We have a very beautiful build for you guys today. We're doing on a BMW GT series. It's a GT535. And it's a question that we always get a lot because people always want to know how could they upgrade the older vehicles to have modern technology. When I say modern technology, referring to Apple CarPlay. Um, Android Auto, also Bluetooth features and so on. Like a lot of things that have came out throughout the years that a lot of cars don't have built into them and people always want to know how can I get it done. Well, we got the solution for you today, man. On this video, we'll be taking you step by step on the removal, the installation, putting back together and the testing of a module that can allow this this BMW here to have CarPlay and Android Auto. Breathe the vehicle. Look who's in the building, man. We have a special guest. He's called the Rooster Head. I'm back. I'm back, guys. It's official. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Have you talked to uh, HR yet? Oh, yeah. HR loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we do love you, man. But anyway, back to this video, man. That's Drew, man. He's built it for a long time. Great dude. Still comes here. It's a GT BMW 535i. It's a beautiful, sleek looking car. But in this video, Adolfo is going to be taking us on how we get this all situated to get this done. So, what's your first plan you're doing here, Adolfo? Remove the, mesh. Remove the centerpiece of the mat, the wood, okay? Take some screws out. Okay. All right, so let's get cracking to it, man.
to bring you to another shop day here in the shop, man. It's a Saturday. I usually don't put days out there, man, because, you know, we got to edit these videos and get them out. But I'm going to show you what's going on today. We got somebody very special up in the what's building. There? Hold on. We got to come and see you coming this way. We got billionaire Brent up in the building, what's man. Up, what's up? What you want to tell everybody on camera today? Oh, check out my YouTube channel. Billionaire Go ahead. Brent. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're billionaire Brent. Tell everybody how you get to your channel. Hey, billionaire Brent. That's, that's how you it. get to it. So why you call yourself the billionaire brand? Hey, that's name y'all gave me. Because yeah. I'm always spending money. I'm always He's all, look, I, we, hey, we ain't gonna talk look, about look, this young look, man. You I'm see? A, this guy door. has more money than a little bit, but no, we'll I leave know. it at that. <laughs> Stay tuned, y'all wanna see some crazy shopping sprees and some crazy, that's the man you're gonna be watching right now. But I'm gonna bring you, we have another show. one that is gonna be here, because 2021, y'all, it's a beautiful truck, GMC Denali, and on this one, we're actually gonna be doing a lot of upgrades with this bad boy. So Josh has already started the process, but I'll show y'all what could be going on. Those roof lights are gonna be switched out. These lights are in the process of being switched out, correct? <laughs> They're already in. And then we have these corner lights also switched out. So on this one, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm gonna give y'all more of, uh, of exactly how to do this. So let's reverse the install, because you've already started this mirror here. Tell everybody what they have to do to be able to get to these lights on the install of this vehicle. Pull everything apart with the mirror. But how you get it out? Uh, I bought the T15. Uh, so like when the, when the whole mirror is assembled, how do they get this, how do they get this going? Um, pull this one down, pop it out, pull this one up. So you can mirror that here in the bottom, the little mirror that's here in the bottom, they get pop it out going down, and then this one pops out. Coming up. Coming up. Now the two mirrors, and then it, it'll display this here. Once you get the bottom mirror off, that you can use it pulling this down, and the top one you pull it taken out, it can actually remove these clips, the little baby clips, you see that clip comes out, and then this clip comes out, and that releases the mirror. Then you got all these little screws, Take it apart, and that's pretty much easy. One, two, three. That's that's not the hard part. What's the hardest part of this mirror? Wiring it. Wiring it up. Well, now you can stay tuned if we get this going. And voila, this was already back together again, as you can see. But I'm gonna show you on the other side how he's doing it. In fact, let me give you a demo of exactly what this is doing right now. Parking like the vehicles, like I'm showing what the customers got going on now. So when he's cruising, he has a nice white light, and then put on the hazard lights. Then he got switchbacks, y'all. So this is what we're doing here. So you can see this was done. He can start working on the other one. Your man, low class Josh up in the building, man. He's looking like a parrot today. Tell us what happened. Ah, uh, Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the rest, y'all. Josh wanted to be nice and give y'all a full video of how to take out the mirror. So I'm actually gonna walk myself through here, huh? Okay, hold on, y'all. Yeah. Meanwhile that, we've already installed the corner marker lights. I'm gonna show you what they look like when they're turned on. See the nice and white. You can actually see them here. Customer one like that. We're gonna get it done. White lights in there. But now let's see the process of the mirror removal of this. So Josh, talk to me. Tell me what we're doing here, my friend. Yeah, we're gonna break some stuff. Oh, we're not doing that. Don't even confess that in your mouth. So. Yeah. So when we do this, yeah, I'm push that one in. Uh huh. And kind of. Got to tug on the bottom one out. Yeah. Just be kind of gentle with it. All right. See, it just pops out. Perfect. And then the other one? Push it up. Uh huh. Kind of work it from the bottom. Slowly with love. Disconnect the plugs that are behind the mirror. Awesome. They use the T15. Two T15 bolts, all yeah. right? Four of them. Four of them. So let's just let's show everybody what we're doing. One, two, three, four. All right. Then the face is removable. Yeah. As you do this, this little piece right here likes to fall off. Which piece here? The little chrome piece? Yeah. All right, so be careful with that coming out. Take that chrome piece off. Bezel's out, and we're now inside the mirror area. Done. And now what we do? Now we're gonna remove this motor. The motor? Got four of them. It, a little clip right here. Uh -huh. Pull it out. Awesome. Now peel back the shelf. Got one there. One here. 
don't think that was on the other one. And then one right here that actually holds the light in place. Alrighty. I'm going to unplug this mirror. Got a little clip right here. Unplug. Bend it forward a little bit. And a little bit real. And you can see that the light is coming out right now. Right up. And then we just reinstall the new one. Yeah. And the wires are all inside. Yep. So you tested the, the harness there for the powers. And I guess you got a parking light and you got a turn signal there, right? Yeah. And uh, they also got one that has a feature where you turn on the light and for some reason it works weird with the LEDs. It's awesome. That's good to know, but that's already done. Cause this year how you do this 100% over with, done clean, situated over with. And meanwhile that project going on, I'm gonna walk you out to the BMW uh, GT500 series that we also have an install going down with the Dolfo. My other technician is handling something here. As you can see, he begins to put this whole thing together and uh, see what's going on. So what you got going on here so far, Dofo? Now, I try to put this mount behind here. Won't fit, it's obviously, here. yeah. Uh, so you're getting a location to mount the box. Yes, sir. All righty, I want to show everybody what this looks like when it's done so they can see how you get an older vehicle and add the CarPlay radio to it. So that can be pretty interesting. Stay tuned. I'll show you how this works here. I think you press the whole menu, right? Yeah, whole menu. Thank so right now, that's the CarPlay on the factory screen. And now it's back to factory. And then we press and hold this here. Boom, now we're in CarPlay. From his knob, he can able to do everything he wants to do with CarPlay. So let's say he wants to go to phone, pops up his phone, wants to go to Spotify, wants to come to the apps on the bottom, come on the apps again. He is in Apple CarPlay on a 2013 BMW. That's is how we do it, bro. This is what we do here at AudioZone, baby. He wants to go back to normal. Now he's back to factory. That's how it's done, man. Audio Zone 1230 North Beltline Road. This is on done. Give back to the truck and show you what we got going on in her. All right, Cruz Cruz, so on this truck here, corner lights are done. Everything there is done. Mirror lights are done. He is now beginning to disassemble the roof to change the roof lights that are all going to be from the orange to the white. So stay tuned if we get busy on this one, y'all. Uh, is in the building. Have some roof out. Have some roof in. Josh is everywhere. Because right now he's replacing these lights. You can tell they got the new ones. From the orange one going to these. And Josh is in it. So I'm going to let y'all see what he's doing in there. Nah, I'm not going to let you guys see nothing. Because you know what? Josh is busy, man. Stay tuned. We get this wrapped up. <laughs> Assembly. So now, guys, this is what it's looking like. White. White. Customer request. And also, the mirror now has the white here. White here. And this one's ready to go. So, at this point in time, we're going to turn in this vehicle uh, to the customer, man. So, just watch it, multiple videos we have here, multiple blogs or multiple cars. But today, man, we bring you the 2021 Denali 3500 and the BMW GT 500 series CarPlay and um, of course the lighting man but i want to thank you guys all for watching thank you guys all for the support man y'all be good and god bless man don't forget to share like and subscribe man stay tuned for more great videos god bless you peace uh -huh.